Hello, hello, today I'm going to show you an awesome unboxing video by me for you. Today, let me introduce you the Autoxel Vehicle Battery Charger 3.8 Ampere 6 Volt or 12 Voltage 8 Modes Intelligent Car Battery Charger Vehicle Physios with CC and CV control for live PO4 and lead batteries by WET, MF, VRLA, AGM and GAL. With 6 volt and 12 volt battery and fusios. It has 8 charge modes and each can be manually adjusted. The intelligent design is able to charge and protect the charger, the battery type chosen and the battery itself when used um, a little bit of wrong. Okay, this is, a, this is a function that you are able to make some trouble with this device, but your battery in your car or outside of your car and the charger will be not harmed with this. Okay, this um, because this is automatic setting charger, user can simply maintain the battery to the original level, nearly the original level, to recover light, sulfated batteries and extend the battery life. This is nice. Energy saving. Less power consumption at full voltage is not required. The interactive thing alters the battery charge based on organic feedback. The um, download tracking, charge LEDs dynamically charge the battery state of the arch or state of the charge at a load of the charging current. It has a firewall, multi-level protection grill, prevents usually and unsafe conditions. It has a terminal monitor, internal temperature sensor are functional on extreme weather. Compensation suitable for different AC line voltage for consistent charging. Input is AC 110 until 120 volt to 60 hot 1.2 ampere. Output power 60 watt maximum. Charging voltage load batteries normal 7.3 or 14.5 voltage DC called A and G me battery is 7.4 until 14.7 volt DC charging current small 0.9 um, ampere normal is 3.8 ampere and type of the batteries are 6 volt and 12 volt not for trucks trucks has 24 volt okay that means motorcycles for example, 6 volted and cars 12 volt. Battery chemistries for wet, gale, MF, CA, EFB, AGM and lip um, um, batteries. The battery capacity are able to get 2 until 120 ampere and with 12 volt, 14 until 120 ampere in 6 volt for all battery sizes. Case protection level is IP65, that means you can use it, dust and waterproof. That means you can uh, use this device if the rain is fallen. Dimensions are nearly 19.9 to 7.5 and to 5.5 centimeters. The weight is 70, no, 774 gram and the operation temperatures um zero up to 40 degrees celsius storage temperature temperature can be raised uh, minus 30 degrees celsius to 60 degrees celsius the noise level is i can't hear anything there it is it is so silent the protection class is class 2 and there are so many certifications like cetlus or fcc and cec and bc of course in the back, in the box, are one charger, one battery pin block, plug. The battery pin block is, uh, is nice. And the eyelet blade receptacle is nice too. One is you can clip it on the poles. And the other thing, you can uh, assemble it by using a nut. And one user guide in so many different languages. For example, in English too. 
nice and easy. If you assemble every wire, and then you can see there are some LEDs on top. The LEDs are now off because I do not have any function now. I will give you information. On the right side, you can see the mode button. This mode button is for setting the um, options in this device. There's one standby LED. And on the top side, you can see um, 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100%. That means that is the level of your charging um, and then you can switch the mode by using the mode button to switch between all different types of loading um, energy delivery thing. But they, there are one, two, three, four, five different um, options plus three um, different options in the other options. That means you have eight options to, to do. The first thing is the 12 volt norm. That means for charging 12 volt fluid gel, maintenance free batteries. The second thing is the 12 volt norm cold or and AGM. That means for charging 12 volt batteries in cold temperature below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. That means 10 degrees Celsius or AGM batteries. AGM, these are the modern style batteries with that stop automatically function. This you are able to switch. So if it is cold outside, use the second thing. If you have a normal um, old school battery installed, you choose the 12 volt normal thing. Then you are going to do this by using the mode button. Only push on top until the LED is on what you are get, uh, what you are needing. So if you are going to the next thing. The normal ACU standard is the old thing, AGM start stop and the modern way, but this is located on the top of your battery. Next to him is 12 volt small batteries. These are the smaller size batteries for charging 12 volt fluted gel and maintenance free batteries. That is like before, but only smaller way. And then it comes with 12 volt cold slash AGM for small batteries. That means in this thing you have two options for it one is for the uh, 12 volt standard batteries but the small one version and the other is for the start stop um, automatically device batteries okay one thing is 12 volts 3.8 ampere the other is 0.9 ampere batteries and now these smaller things the six volt batteries this is uh, at your bike at your boat motorcycle for example then you would use six volt normal for charging six volt fluted gale maintenance free batteries and there is another option to the six volt cord and agm this is the same like before at the 12 voltage for charging 6, 6 volt batteries in cold temperatures below 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees Celsius, or AGM batteries. When you selected this, the LED will illuminate it every time in the setup way. If you're pushing the mode button about 3 seconds, then you can switch to 12.8 volt lithium batteries. This is for charging 12.8 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries. This is the super modern sports way to get power in your battery. But only if you have a lithium battery installed, you can choose this option. This is important. Do not use a lithium battery with the other types or use the lithium battery if you do not have a lithium battery installed. That will be a good, get, you can get the information about the, your battery on top of your battery. And there is this um, a last function that means it is reached by the mode button until you press it and hold it about three seconds. This is a repair and the recover. Press and hold for recall, recover and pre, um, repair 12 volt. Take care. For recovering, repairing, and storing old other damaged stratified or sulfated fluidage gale maintenance free led exit batteries these are all the options you are going to choose if you're going to um, load or uh, get um, 
repair or repair your um, standard batteries, your gear batteries, your AG um, batteries, start stop function batteries, all kind of stuff. Because you can use it for wet, gale, MF, CA, EF, BAGM, and lip. That means nearly all types of batteries are um, are going to you can load with this device. You only have to look a little bit on top of the cover of your battery, and then job's done. Easy going. If you like to load, connect the po po positive red battery clamp. Um, on the red pole on your battery. After this, the negative clamp, that's the black thing. Select this, connect the battery charger AC power plug into a suitable electronic outlet and then choose and wait um, up to 15 hours until on the top side the 100% is full. That could be charged farther, uh, far, uh, farther or a little bit lower that is uh, required to your battery. Okay, now let's do this at a vehicle. Let's go. First step, open your driver's seat sight. Then pull the lever to open the car hood. After this, we are going to open the car hood itself. Good job. And now you can locate your battery um, often on the right side if you are standing in front of your car. Or you can find your battery in the rear side at and um, in the back side of your car too so you have to look where your battery is and there you can see on the top of this battery there is letters agm that means here is installed an agm battery this is a modern way of batteries and and you use um, an agm battery for example in um, in case if your car contains um, start stop automatically because this battery type needs a little bit more power. So on the left side you can see the plus pole, on the right side you can see the minus pole. These two ports are important later. There it is our device. Let's go. Now we can see I am using the clamps. There is a one clamp is red, the other is black. Um, red means plus pole, the black is the minus pole and we have power supply on the right side which are not connected right now. So that is the first step. We are using the clamp or you can use um, a nut to um, to assemble this too but not with the clamp. It is another optional cable. So first step the red line is plugged in. Now the black line for minus pole now everything is connected to your battery minus black plus red first red then minus then we get a power supply our device is starting get a law uh, a short uh, a short um, setup thing and now you are able to choose the different types of charging mode there is um there are so much information on top of your um, of your battery so that means the charging has eight modes this can each be manually selected pb battery modes 6 volt norm 6 volt cold agm 12 volt norm 12 volt cold agm 12 volt small 12 volt small cold and agm and there are enhanced modes lithium 12 volt with gravity entering the Lithium and recover charge modes require the mode button to be pressed and hold for three seconds. These enhanced modes require your full attention before selecting. Never use the gravity mode on lithium iron phosphate batteries. That is important. Do not operate the charger until you confirm the, the things in your mind. So that it is. Now in this case we have to set the 12 norm code AGM status for this battery and here you can see these are the different types of thing 12, no 12 volt normal 12 volt normal code AGM 12 volt small everything is on board so um, this is the only thing you have to look after if you have 
the right function selected, the loading process will be start immediately. And this start um, is here you can see now we are recovery mode. Mm, the recovery mode is for batteries. Um, you are not using so much. That means if your battery is old or broken, you can use this for um, for a time to refresh your battery. This is a good mode for all things. So after the device is ready, remove the black and then the red pole. Good job. Then dip out the IC adapter and reassemble everything back. You can see um, that the device is ready um, if your LED is 100%. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me, give me positive feedback and see you next time again. Soon soon.